hear the first 15 promises he has made if he is re-elected. First, he promises that he will carry out the largest domestic deportation operation in history. Well, the current record holder is Obama, but I got faith Trump can outdo him. He will also ask for the death sentence for anyone convicted of human trafficking. If you're a person who opposes that, go ahead and speak up. We'd love to know more about you. He will close the Department of Education and return all education standards to the states to decide. You know what also returns to the states when they eliminate the Federal Department of Education? $84 billion per year. That's what we're spending to have a National Department of Education that doesn't do a fucking thing. Yeah, if you're opposed to the school systems having an additional $84 billion every year, go ahead and speak up on that one. We'll put prayer back into school. No, he won't. Now, what that means is he will allow people to pray in school. There has never been and never will be forced prayer in public school. He's just saying you should be allowed to if you want to. He will criminalize any race-based advantage programs. Good. Any program based on race is inherently racist. Nobody should have an advantage because of the color of their skin. He will end the Affordable Care Act. Good, that thing's been a fucking disaster. That program helped nobody. It's made shit far more expensive. He will ban gender-affirming care for adults and children, and he will ban any federal dollars from going towards gender-affirming care. Thank God. These people will finally be able to focus on getting the mental health care they deserve. Which means anyone with government-provided health care will no longer be able to access gender-affirming care except for Viagra and Cialis. Since when did Viagra and Cialis become part of gender-affirming care? What the fuck is gender-affirming about Viagra and Cialis? Or were you just throwing that in there to try to talk shit? Sorry, but there's nothing gender-affirming about boner pills. He will propose a constitutional amendment that gives a term limit to Congress. Oh, you mean that thing more than 90% of Americans support? And that constitutional amendment will pass faster than any amendment in history. He will deploy the Department of Justice to investigate the Biden crime family and any of his adversaries or political rivals. OV, do we not know how quotes work? Because yes, he did say he was going to deploy the Department of Justice to investigate the Biden crime family. So the quotes were correct there. But the political rivals and adversaries part? Yeah, you don't need to quote that because you made that up. He will immediately pardon all of the January 6thers. Good, because the prison term given to those people was fucking ridiculous. He will increase the penalties for underage criminal offenders. I could go either way on that one, but I'm not really opposed to it. Strength and immunity for police officers. Well, since they protect us, our government should be protecting them. And deploy the National Guard to patrol woke cities. Again, V, with the fucking quote bullshit, not his fault that the woke cities are where all the fucking crime is. If you have a problem with a city deploying the National Guard, take that shit up with Kathy Hochul, who's a Democrat, by the way. On day one, he will reassess our participation in NATO. Good, because this is the current breakdown in spending. Annual budget for NATO is $1.3 trillion, of which we pay $860 billion. But yeah, fuck these countries. We don't need to be paying for their defense. He will also restore the wonderful travel ban for Muslims coming to America. Oh my God, you're still trying to refer to that as the Muslim ban? Because what it really is is a ban on travel to America from any country who does not do criminal background checks before issuing a passport. It's a ban on allowing criminals to fly to the U.S. Their religion doesn't fucking matter. It will remove all of the limits on American natural gas exports and drill baby drill for oil domestically. You recognize Biden's already doing that over the last six months, right? That's why gas prices came down for a little bit? Because Biden allowed for more drilling and more extraction of oil than at any point in our history. And yes, being energy independent would be fucking wonderful. He will impose a tariff of up to 60% on Chinese imports. Well, good. Our tariffs on Chinese products will finally match up with what the Chinese tariff us for. But you probably didn't know that because you didn't do any research before trying to talk shit. He will extend the 2017 tax cuts and drop the corporate tax rate from 21% to 15%. Sweet, because the 2017 tax cuts were fucking awesome. And if you don't believe that, pause to read. And as far as dropping the corporate tax rate from 21 to 15, good, that'll be an extra 6% they can reinvest in their business. Which, if you're unaware, usually means hiring more people. He will push Congress to pass legislation that would give every American the right to concealed carry anywhere at any time. And he will revoke any gun restrictions or legislation that seeks to inhibit people's ability to own guns that's been passed in the last several years. Oh, goody. We'll finally get back to being a fuck around and find out type of country. He will demand that Europe pay back all the money we gave Ukraine, and then he will use all of that money to recruit for the American military. No, well, Europe's not going to do that. But I like the idea. We'll take billions and billions of dollars from private university endowments by taxing, fining, and suing the universities. 
I fucking love that idea. And then he will use that money to create the American Academy. A free online college. Oh no, actual free college. How terrible. So, that's Agenda 47. And it's fucking awesome. I don't know how Trump did it, but he managed to get under the desk.